I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. My biggest concern about Kamala and Tim are how they want the government to crack down on online misinformation, which isn't always misinformation, conspiracy theories, which often show themselves just months later that they weren't actually conspiracy theories at all, they were actually true, though there's a lot of them that aren't. I get it. But there's still a number of them that have shown themselves as true. And then, of course, comments that are mean to marginalized groups. They'll call those comments hate speech. Just saying something mean is hate speech. So, okay, that's what they seem to be pushing for. You know, the elimination of all those things online. Doesn't matter if those things being said are true. They could be true. But as I've stated before, if you have too much moderation, people on the right leave. If you have too little moderation, people on the left leave. You know, people like Kamala and Tim want it to be somewhere where everyone on the right leaves and they just have to go into these really horrible echo chambers and uh, really simmer in, th in those places in a way that it, 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 the only thing that will come out of it is something negative. There's not going to be any decent discussions about anything. And to be quite honest, I think people on the right put up with a lot more uh, mean comments from the left than the other way around. You know, you... I think about this image. Anyway, I don't think the United States will ever get to the point of, you know, like the UK has, where you can be arrested and put in jail for a couple years for saying something mean online. But I think it's likely that a Harris-Walls administration would force online platforms to have strict moderation. Particularly since the Biden administration already attempted to do this, and in some cases they were successful, like with Facebook and, uh, you know, pre-Musk Twitter. Having said that, I think a lot more people have had their eyes open to a lot of these sorts of things, and in, in what, what does it really look like when you let people have their say and you don't censor? Well, yeah, it, it does let some unfortunate people on the right, like the actual neo-Nazis, it it lets them come out of the woodwork, but if you have good arguments, you can you can show them how stupid their views are. But people just don't seem to be willing to do that. They're, it's it's like they're scared that the the, the those neo Nazi types might uh, maybe they're right about some things and they don't they don't even want to chance that sort of thing. You know, they'll think, oh well, if if I talk with them too much, their views will rub off. I suppose it could be true if they had really good arguments, but. You know, I understand that people are wanting to not allow people with those types of views to have their say. But if you have freedom of speech, you, you've just, you've got to allow everything as long as they're not doing something illegal. And so far, thankfully, it's not illegal to have whatever views you want. You know, just the legal side of it is, yeah, if you act out on some bullshit belief and, and you, you hurt someone, yeah, you're going to pay the price. But I think a lot more people are having their eyes open to a lot of stuff, and a lot of people aren't trusting mainstream media like they used to. And I think, uh, I think a lot of people who really believe in free speech will uh, be able to, to tackle this before it really becomes a threat to our freedom of speech. The government of the United States is not supposed to tell companies what the users on their platforms are allowed to say. You know, with the exception of people saying things that actually are illegal, like death threats, promoting violence, that sort of thing. But things that aren't technically illegal to say, but uh, could be considered really offensive, the government should have no say in any of that. You know, I really do feel sorry for people living in the UK. How awful to not have a real freedom of speech. I mean, at all anymore. Say something mean online and you'll have police knocking on your door. It's just, it's... Man, I'm so glad to live in this country right now. I just don't think our government will be able to truly neuter the First Amendment. I just don't think so. They'll try, but there's going to be a lot of pushback. But this sort of thing is my main concern about a Harris-Walls administration. You know, may maybe they won't be successful, but I think they're going to try. So, <sighs> thankful for the Constitution and its amendments, just saying.